so we're going to get this started again. We just finished with Renee. Tomorrow night, I'm going to have one of the toughest matches of my career, fighting Davy Boy Smith Jr. We're not starting yet, are we? We are starting, yeah. They didn't get my hotel room yet, did they? We'll deal with that after. Teddy Hart is going to be wrestling me tomorrow night, along with Davy Boy Smith Jr. and his cousin. He has 8x10s here. He will be signing some after the show, and he'll definitely be signing them tomorrow night as well. Definitely, in my opinion, the greatest high flyer in the world today. The daredevil stuff he has accomplished is just incredible. He's the current MLW middleweight champion, Teddy Hart. I had a bit of a long day. Super long day. I didn't know you were starting on me. Like I thought you're. I thought you were ruining me. No, we had the break and we thought that uh, you were yeah, ready. I thought it was like an hour away at the show from the airport. I had to drive for six hours. I just wanted to shower and then I couldn't get. I'm pretty sure. Like unless it's just like somebody set it up, but you know my name's not. Uh, Teddy Hart, my shoot name. So when I get a hotel room, usually they, if they get the airplane ticket for me, usually they get the hotel room under my name. But I waited almost two hours to get into that room and they couldn't get me into the room. And you're busy, I, I was told or whatever, but you're right up the street. And I thought you were actually doing a show, you're a wrestling thing, you're doing this shit. That, you kept me waiting for two hours doing this shit, dude. While we were setting up in here, we were setting up uh, for, kids, for yesterday, is, or for tomorrow as well. Like you're, you're, all, I'm one of the, you're on the poster, favorite. I didn't expect there to be any issues with... Uh, you're one, I'm one of your biggest fans, man, but, and, and I appreciate, I appreciate, this is, this is like what I'm all about, is taking care of the people and making sure they get an intimate atmosphere to talk and ask questions and stuff, but the, to me, it's one of those things, if the guy who you brought in doesn't even know I'm doing an interview, you didn't explain it to me, right? And you told me it was an hour, I thought, from the building to here, and then it's like six hours of driving with some guy and he couldn't drive right, man. And then he told me to wait at the hotel that I'd be getting in. And then he said, dude, Devin wants to talk to you. And then I come over here. I understand. He just took a bit of a detour. Uh, he booked dude, the hotel. I won two belts at MLW. You announced me as this super star high flyer. You know, I've been wrestling with you for 24 years. I was the first guy to ever bring into Matt Rats. I take that as disrespect. It's one picture. With, for, yeah, what am I supposed to sign it with? What do you mean what you're supposed to sign it Why are you throwing this? I thought we were going to have a mad... We are, friend. you know what, you're one of my oldest friends. Well then don't bring me in like a jobber, dude. You bring Harry in now too, to wrestle me? I'm an MLW, I'm not supposed to be doing anything with Harry. You know better, man. I, 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 Harry I, I told me he was sabotage. up for it. Harry told me he was up for it. Well, were you going to say no? You're one of the, we don't want to let you down your shoe. Alright, why don't we talk about something else? Yeah, this is... There's a dog in the audience here. See that shit, dude? The dog even senses the dog. it, dude. The dog senses it. That to right, me, I'm well, a big animal, cat guy, dog guy. That's such a yeah. shoot. That you dog know what, just Renee, a bad, bad you ask him a question. You ask him a question. I know you had a long day. I'll give you a break, though. Yeah, yeah. This is another place that, come on. More dude, I don't even care, man. That's I know, a shoot. Every time I try to do something nice, I change my reputation. I worked for two years. You're the first guy to do an interview with me out of jail and ask me every question in the world. I got heat for some of the questions that I answered truthfully on that video. And I took those down. Yeah, I know, but still, you're the idiot that put the questions <laughs> on there. You, you're the guy that Don't set me up Don't start this. You set me up, Calm down, brother. Please. I'm, I'm usually Thanks super easy you. going. I'm trying to, I'm trying to start restart this. my comeback. You're lucky tomorrow's Harry. Just, you, you got Harry in there as an excuse, dude. What are you going to do? Nothing. Oh, no. Easy, brother. I'm worried about you. Okay, 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 okay. Calm down. Jay, you're going to pump me now with your... Here. Uh, Come on, man. Can this guy, dude, Hannibal uh, TV is, I love Hannibal TV. Rocky, you want to be with your little tiger on your yeah, shirt? Yeah, the tiger. Yeah, Living in Philadelphia. Philadelphia is the biggest shithole I've ever seen. It's a dump, and you are Come on, wake up. Come on. Just work me. We're going to get him out of here, man. I told you, the guy, he thinks he's a shooter. Look, he's a shooter now. Yeah, he will. He will hurt you. Yeah, Come right. on. Well, everyone's gonna hurt me. I've been wrestling right, 25 right. years and I still have all my teeth in my mouth, okay? I don't I'm sorry, man. Until after, dude. Come on. 
Yeah, if you got me a hotel room like you're supposed to, then it would have been cool. I, I wanted to realize that's six hours of drive. Hey, Wes, I'm not trying to ruin anything here, but when it's when it's blatant slap in the face and then he plays the game and then I asked him to take pictures so I could sell pictures to fans or give some pictures away. They got one picture there, guys. That was all I got, one picture. And it wasn't even the picture with the two belts. I waited 25 years in wrestling. In 22 years of wrestling in North America, I've gotten one championship belt from Jersey All-Pro. Otherwise, MLW is the only place I've ever won a belt. And I got two belts at the same time. You'd think Devin would introduce me as a two-time MLW champion or, or something. I'm a great high flyer. That's another one of those slaps in the face. He's a great high flyer. He's one of the stupidest wrestlers to ever do flips off a cage for free and, and never made money on wrestling or uh, doing anything. So that's my gimmick, Devin? Just like another spot monkey to come out here? Oh, maybe, yes, maybe as a shoot, maybe you maybe you'll knock my teeth out as a shoot. Am I supposed but, to conduct in here now? Oh, what are you doing? Break your glasses. Um, that you would have loved to. Teddy Hart, ladies and gentlemen. I like I like Devin. But tomorrow he's getting he's getting in the ring and it's a whole different ball game, man. That's yeah, a, that's know, a whole know, different ball game. I hope he's got a mouth guard and a cup on, because wrestling. When you talk about MMA and you're a shooter, but the wrestling, the real wrestling rules. There's no rules in wrestling. Anything goes. So if it's an eye gouge or bite you, or if it's another guy in the ring, I'm not I'm not holding back at all. There's nothing that's. It, we can play the friendly game all we want. We're buddies and. We can chop each other and sit there and make cool sounds, but I'm not playing that shit. If Devin leaves me his neck, I'm choking the guy out. And he can go to sleep and wake up and ask his girlfriend what happened. Hey, Teddy, Teddy snuck one in on me. Oh, no shit, just like you left me at the hotel for two and a half hours to get So let's start with the time you beat CM Punk up. That's a good story. Another guy with big balls, bigger than Devin's That's balls That's a true right story. Now. I wasn't there, but it's a well-known story. Teddy Hart beat up CM Punk. About that or Not really. I don't want to live off the hype of CM Punk. He's the big, he's the biggest star in wrestling history to go to MMA and have a fight or two. At least he did it. A lot of guys talk tough in wrestling. And Devin is a shoot tough guy. I give him a ton of respect. But don't bring me in and then put him put, put me over. It's like telling a guy something. Hey, this guy's awesome and blah blah blah. You say a bunch of nice things about him, but then you check to see the guy didn't even get a hotel room booked for under my name. Remember and then you're supposed to bring me in. They didn't bring me into the right airport. I drove six hours today, guys, to come in here. For six hours. I'm 40 years old. I've been wrestling for 24 years. You should know what airport to bring me in. If you're going to save 50 bucks or 100 bucks, tell me. Devin's got a successful TV channel. He's making good money. He's never been cheap in the past. And he's taking me out for dinner, taking me out for, for drinks numerous times. Always been cool. I got the bill tonight at the restaurant. And that was another one. It's like they said we had a per diem. There was no per diem to eat. Then he brings Harry in. I know Harry got paid the full rate. Yeah, Can well, he, Harry asked, he, Harry, I asked Harry what he got. I'm not going to say it, but that kind of stuff pisses me off. It's like, we're a tag team. You don't pay one guy because he was in Japan, or you like shooters, and I'm not a shooter. I'm a high flyer, the daredevil idiot that wants to do a bunch listen, of moves. You know how passionate Devin is about wrestling. Yeah, but he made me seem like a He's trying to build something here. He's he made seem like a Just, you know. Did you need some cheese? No, I just need maybe some... Uh, I could give you cheese with all that wine you're doing. <laughs> yeah, I, I could. If you have, I don't know if you have, did you have anything aged? How come all the other herds don't whine? They just went there and they, uh, well, I was supposed to go out there to do the fighting. The other herds I don't think have done, if you watch, even, I don't know if you, if you were able to get on YouTube, you know how to use it? Yeah. Well, you type it in, at, YouTube. For example, look at Natalia tomorrow. She's going to show all these Canadians how to fight and she's going to win it. I hope so. I'm not optimistic about I'm not optimistic about that. I hope Natalia wins. I love Natalia. I help train Natalia if you do your facts. I usually like guys that talk. I love a QA. Some kids here will never be disrespectful. I'm the guy that believes this guy right here in the wheelchair is an angel and he keeps me safe. So I test something called faith, my friend. I don't think you have too much faith in yourself. You got a limp right now, which means God gave you kind of a sucker punch along the way on the path and somehow you got messed up. So and then you're talking about cheese and wine. You look like a fat rat. I'm not trying to be a prick. I'm just calling a spade a spade. Your eyesight is fading a little bit, so you can't see straight to realize that I'm the real deal. If you watch YouTube for more than five minutes, I'm a bully right now, I guess. But being a bully is the guy with the microphone. MJF's the guy who's a genius. When he's got the mic, you should just shut up and listen because he's going to roast you. Otherwise, you call me a coward or you say that I'm a whiner. I want to know when the last time Bret Hart climbed to the top ropes was and did a backflip for 50 people. I know he got a big contract and did the sharpshooter for a million dollars and got Stone Cold Steve Austin over. I don't remember ever uh, talking about 
the 18 guys I got signed by having one five-star match after five-star match after five-star match, but I don't remember bitching about punching out Vince McMahon, but I, I guess Brett's not a whiner though, right? You want to kiss Brett's pink and black ass, call him up here for $10,000 or whatever $25,000 his booking fee is, and you can tell him how great he is, because I remember his name. Well, the best there is, the best there was, the best there ever will be. Well, let's see how I remember my name, the past, present, and future professional wrestling. The future is, my friend, you don't have one. The past was, I don't remember your name, and your mom probably doesn't want to hear about the present day. Oh, oh, she doesn't. I'm not dissing his mother. She might not even have one. Hey. She probably passed away out of a shame having this guy come in here and talk shit about me. And all I wanted to was just explain my story about the hotel. But well, we heard it over and over. Just one time, because that's what I'm complaining about, because I wanted to get free pictures so I could give you an autograph picture that was my complaint so if you ask what the point of my complaint was usually I'd like to know what the point of it was no one else seemed to care they were all interested in one wondering why a guy like me is upset with Devin because it's hard to get me upset Devin and I've been friends for 22 years but things like if I go to work and the job is to have a key to a facility I'm supposed to be there at 9 in the morning I got a job to do and I show up at 8 early with sandwiches for everybody and the key doesn't work and then at 10 o'clock I show up again and then they're going over here late Devin called me and said I was late. Wes had to come get me from the hotel like I, like I screwed up or something. Again. Let's, see, let's tell you dudes more in the ring. Well, obviously, just, just so you know, and I appreciate that. I'll give you that. Talk's cheap. And I'll back it up well, in the ring. Really but go on to YouTube you know, and watch some videos. You know That's all I ask. You know what they normally say, eh? Mighty talks and bullshit walks. Let's go for it and get in that ring tomorrow and do it. All I'm asking you to do, I, I'll take your advice and I'll go in the ring and money talks and bullshit walks. Just please... After your bullshit walks out the door tomorrow, after I show you who the greatest wrestler on the planet Earth is, and go watch the videos before you talk to me. You're talking to royalty, my friend, youngest guy in the world to ever sign and be fired and hired twice for doing the most moves in the world. You know what moves are about? Well, you know what? Not about pay. It's about that look on the fans' faces. These guys that I care about smiling and walking away, asking if this was real and how we didn't get hurt. How two guys work together or four guys work together create this thing called magic. Three generations of magic runs through this. Blood, through this heart and through this mind, my friend, and, and it's the mind. Those kind of pants yeah, but I, 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 you, dude, you couldn't sew a pair of pants or design a pair of pants who wear the same jeans as every other guy. I'm trying to be different. I'm trying to be a big mouth that whines and doesn't get cheese because I don't think you could find cheese except for cheese whiz well, that's underneath your arms and between your ears, my friend. <laughs> You know? Well, if you need some, just go ahead and ask for help. And okay, well, get me a glass of wine and some cheese then, buddy. To bring it tomorrow, and I'll, I'll, I will eat the cheese in front of you, and I'll drink the wine, and after I'm done, we'll have a dinner after the match, you and me. Boston pizza. That's I'll okay. buy you a cheese-eating rat pizza for being a big baby that wanted to be the guy that got singled out here. You are the man. We will take it to you. Let's, let's film this guy. He wants some credit. Everyone else is quiet and respectful. <laughs> What's your name here, sir? My name is Wayne. Wayne, nobody wants to hear your name. The Rock said that. It wasn't that funny. I want to hear your name. No, I I want to hear your name, Wayne. That's why I asked. You want me to stand up and say it? You can say it. You can come on stage with the cane and see if I can borrow your cane tomorrow. Okay. Maybe I can stick that some bit sideways. No, do another, <laughs> cut, cut another promo on you. Come on. Let Wayne sit up here. At least Wayne understands the gimmick a little bit. Here, Wayne. You can sit down. Here you go. Thank you. Wayne, everybody. Hey, everybody. How's it going? Don't bother sticking that bottle there because that's where this cane's going to go tomorrow after you're done. <laughs> Okay there, I'll call you Mr. Hurt. How's that sound? I'm awesome, Wayne. Where are you from, Wayne, here? I'm actually from Pembroke, Ontario. That's what, 30 minutes from here? Yes, sir. Seemed like a nice town when I drove in. Oh, it is. It's beautiful. People are nice. Everything's cool. And I'm loving it here. You know why? Why? Because all my celebrities are here. Well, it's sorry to say you're one of them. Well, I'm glad, I'm glad that you have some respect for me. I've tried to earn it, but I guess I was complaining a little bit too much, but it, it hurt my feelings, and that's one thing with me. Uh, I try to come here and do something special every time I get in the ring. Devin knows the effort I put in to try to make sure fans walk away happy. Well, don't so, leave Devin there. How about uh, Davey Boy? I wasn't supposed to wrestle Davey Boy, and that's my issue with Devin, was that Devin put Davey Boy in the match when he wasn't supposed to. And he's getting me a lot of heat with my company that I work for, my TV show that I work for, and that pays my bills right now. Uh, so I don't have to go back to Canada. Uh, nobody wants to book an airplane ticket from Calgary to New York or Calgary to Philly or Calgary to, to Boston. So my flights, if you check, this is shoot again. My flights, because they're so expensive out of Canada, limited my bookings for 15 years. So instead of being one of the most booked wrestlers in the world, which is I'm the most booked independent wrestler in North America right now, I think behind Joey Ryan 
and Pentagon and Phoenix, and now they're both, uh, Pentagon and Phoenix have gone to AEW. So Joey Ryan, I think, and myself are the most booked guys independently in North America. And I take great pride in 90 shows I did this year. And Devin knows better to book me with Harry. I'm not supposed to wrestle Harry. And um, not in a shoot match either that he hooked on me. And if he if stiffs me or hurts me, he acts like it's a skillful thing now because it's a shoot match. When to me, that's a coward. If you want to have a shoot fight, then you pay me the extra money. We put on the gloves and we have a shoot fight. Now you're telling me it's a shoot fight. And I respect Devin. I respect the hell out of Devin's stuff. He's probably one of the toughest guys in, this, in the history of the business. This, I would say he's this generation's Haku. He's just a wild card crazy. But I'm, I fear no man but God. And he put me on the spot and he thinks I'm going to kiss his ass because it's in his town or it's his show or his parents are here. I respect his, his girlfriend and the dad. They just came up to me and introduced themselves. I'd never met him before, but I've been sitting at the hotel for two and a half hours waiting for my money and waiting to get in a room that wasn't there underneath my name and waiting for my pictures that I can't sign. So when Devin gets in the ring, he's going to understand just how easy a slip punch can be an uppercut in the face. And a guy like you will be the one cleaning up the blood off the floor. You can ask me if wrestling's real again, my friend. Because I like your attitude when you're sitting up here now. I wanted to get real for a second. What if I grab you just without that cane, you know, and, and somebody takes advantage of the situation, like David Schultz, remember that one? Yeah. And what do you do? Did something nasty, but you wouldn't want to attempt to try that with me. No, because you've got a cane and you're handicapped, so I wouldn't want to hurt you. So I'm going to let you go. Handicapped. Well, whatever it is, I'm going to give you the stopwatch. I don't want your heart to stop here. You see this thing? But tomorrow is a different story. Yeah, but we're talking about you on the open your mouth. Devin's oh, already going to get his ass You think, you think right mind. now I'm shooting my mouth now? Wait till tomorrow when I'm by that ringside. I'll be shooting my mouth more and more every day. Well, Guys, do you have any questions, these amazing fans? Because I put enough spotlight on this gentleman. I already forgot his name, Wayne. Yes, Wayne. sir. Awesome. So, and then Wayne can show me if he understands Wayne Gretzky, the great one. And then he can look in the mirror and realize it's not you, it's me. And wrestling, the great one of wrestling is Teddy Hart. So, well, I have to always that. remind you every time you remember that Wayne, you are Wayne, but I don't think you've been the great one in anything in your life. And you can remember Gretzky because Gretzky was 99. When I flip you upside down, you're 66. Add one more six, that's the devil. And that's where you'll end up being, my friend, if you don't go back to the gym. Stop with the limp and then getting the free parking pass so you can park up by Shopper's Club Park and get the UI check or whatever, the disability check. Go back to the gym and get back on God's team. And then you can be the military hunter man you want it to be. Okay, I'll come back and kick your ass. You kick my ass, one, two, three. Along with all the other hearts, I'm sitting to tell you. Well, now you're against all the hearts. You just flip switches now. That dog was probably trying to bite you because he sensed the guy that was a hypocrite. Why not the horse of the coward or a hypocrite, dude? But, well, guys, this sounds like a, a wonderful group of people that understand this business completely. And it's about suspending your disbelief and making sure you have 15 minutes off your day job or the stress or your worries or your bills. And you can enjoy professional wrestling, something my grandfather's uh, made famous in this country. My family's tried to do something with it. Every generation we live on this planet Earth, we try to make professional wrestling the best thing you've ever seen. So. Here's one of my best friends in the business. I've known West since he was hey, nine years old. Alright, alright, alright. All right. We'll get into a little bit lighter note. Hey, does anybody have any questions for Teddy? Like, any questions about some of the crazy... Whoa, 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 hey! Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Can I please, please say something? Oh, holy moly. Wow. Alright. Any questions about any of his crazy matches, his opponents, who did he like facing? No, we've already had enough of you. <laughs> how, about, how did you get the scars in the back of your head? Teddy, how did you get the scars in the back of your head? From his woman. <laughs> Please. All right, Wayne. Shh. Can we let Can we Can we let him, let's, let's just let Teddy talk a little bit. You know, you've had, you, you've you've had your fifteen minutes. Um, company called CZW Combat Zone Wrestling in uh, Philadelphia used to wrestle out of the ECW building. I think they've. I think they've switched buildings now, but there was a promoter owner named John Zandig who claimed when he asked me, are we doing any weapons tonight or tables or thumbtacks or gimmick stuff? And I said, well, my, my body's a weapon, so I really don't think I need any gimmicks. I said, just, I guess, watch and see what I can do. And if the people at the end of the show are all standing up cheering my name and I'm more over than you are in your own company the first night and I haven't had to do anything crazy like light myself on fire or jump off of a balcony, onto a table, or I'm not, not saying there's not skills in doing hardcore stuff, I've done it all too, but there's a time and place to me, and the first thing I want to be able to do is wrestle, especially coming out of the dungeon, uh, being a wrestler is a big thing, and being able to do the magic of wrestling with another guy, 
uh, without truly killing them. And if people understand that, then you understand Santa Claus, you understand wrestling, you understand comedy, you understand special effects in a movie. And we can all pretend to be stupid and put the work on it. What happened with Devin tonight was the first time I've been shoot pissed off at a promoter or a friend of mine in years, and I hope another John Zandig thing doesn't happen. But John Zandig became unprofessional in the ring, lost his temper like Devin did, and then all of a sudden attacked me uh, and shoot didn't move to me and dropped me on my head on a bed of nails that he wouldn't bump on himself. And it happened to land, I think, on like 15 nails, but only three cut me, and it left the back of the, the mark of the beast, they call it. And I think it's the mark of the devil has blessed me to stay on the planet Earth to make more people believe in God because I, I pray to God that people watch me and get motivated that I'm still walking, surgery free, uh, and I've been safe doing all this stuff for all these years because I believe fans are happy seeing someone take their life and risk it for your smile or for your complaint or for your question, whatever it is. But that's my job is to give you guys something and to be different. And that's something I try to pride myself on being as a third generation guy. And uh, CGW is a company I went to and used my body as a weapon. And tomorrow I'm going to use my body as a weapon. And Devin's going to see what happens when you piss off the tiger here. Because that dog right there is upset because they said that cats are the superior animal. And it was a subconscious thing I was giving to the dog. But the dog made a big mistake when he accepted listening to people's commands. The cat said, what the hell are you thinking? They both looked at each other and the dog said, shit, now they know we can understand them. And the dog's been running around doing shit like kissing asses and licking asses for the last 500 years. And cats do whatever the hell they want to do, kind of like me. So I don't mind acknowledging that I listed, but you better have food for me or money. And dogs can do whatever they want because they're supposed to. But I haven't seen anybody give a cat a licking for not listening. I've seen a lot of dogs get a shit for not sitting down. So I hope you understand what I'm saying, my friend. Cats do what they want, I do what I want, I'm doing what I want now, and I don't think I need to sit up here and talk any longer unless Devin wants to pay me some extra money or he can ask his girlfriend, a beautiful girlfriend over there, she wants to put a couple extra hundred bucks on my tab tonight at that little bar, and Wayne can come over and buy us a few shots, you know, and put your money where your mouth is, Wayne. Uh, okay. Thank you, Ted. Love you to death. Oh, man. Wes, we're done here, guys? Are we cool? Any other questions? Tomorrow, I'll see you guys all in the ring. Oh good, I'm happy everybody's happy. <laughs> Do we have any more questions? One more question. Alright, give them back. Are you bringing Mr. Velvet tomorrow? This is another thing I tried to get the paperwork for Mr. Velvet. Yeah. And Devin said we'll bring him back next month or the show in October, but it was a little expensive because it's a small town and it was a bought show. So again to me, um, cutting corners and they got some emergency Great Dane in the back there. Why couldn't I bring my cat? Question, his question is answered. This is like banging off my head right now. And is the dog safe to be here? Because it doesn't look like a bulldog to me. And if it's not a bulldog, Harry's going to be upset that you brought a dog to the ring. You wouldn't let him bring his bulldog and you wouldn't let me bring my cat. I'll bring my cat. Yeah, but you're known for being a pussy way and I'm not. <laughs> Water there, that's good enough. But I want to thank all, hey, all you guys. Thank you for coming out early and supporting Hannibal TV. We really appreciate all you guys coming out early and coming out to this Q1A. Thank you guys for your support. Thank you for everything you guys are doing. Make sure you check out Hannibal TV. Make sure you check out all of his stuff. And tomorrow night, it's going to be crazy. I'm telling you right now. As you can tell, it's going to be hot. God bless you guys. I look forward to seeing you all uh, happy and Surprise tomorrow when I think uh, people understand you can't do the same thing over and over and over again. No, we're going to show them something new, something different, something real. It's one thing Hannibal's been amazing for is creating something for the fans. And he should have been a bit smarter because you bring a guy like me and it's going to be about me. And the fans will see again the reason Devin is number two instead of number one is because Teddy Hart's been in this, we'll say, this little uh, competition with Devin ever since I first brought him into the company, and that was Mad Rats how many years ago? 22 years ago. And Devin was the second best guy then, behind Harry, and definitely behind me, and it'll be the same thing now that Devin brought me in. He'll be the third place guy now, so his, his beautiful wife and his friend here, her father, are gonna see Devin get the bronze medal.
Devin's used to getting gold, but he's going to get the bronze for a third place loser for not getting my hotel room right and putting Wayne in the front audience here. Wayne, go get out of the front and buy some drinks. And Devin, please get me my hotel room and bring me to the right town next time so I'm fresh against you for the shoot fight match. This is fun. Again, thank you guys so much for coming. Please support me. Thank you guys so much. We truly appreciate it. See you guys tomorrow.